I don't know. You just wanted to be different. Maybe, maybe too wild for this. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined by another legend, Albert Kraus, as we start this contest. Slovenia versus Romania. Slovenia in the red corner, Romania in the blue corner. And I have to say, I am a fan of Sam, Samo Petier. And he is an animal. He's one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. Probably the most genuine guy in the fight game ever. Um, 47 fights, 35 wins with 22 KOs, which is pretty good for someone of the lighter weights. We've started off with pretty fast pace here, Albert. Yes, uh, the action starts early. What I think you have to do is in a three-round fight, you have to win every round. Yeah, you've got to win every round. And in fact, in a three-round fight, if you suffer a knockdown, you've got it all to do yeah, to make yeah. it back. But they start very, uh, very good, and very furious, furious. Yeah, they're not holding back here. Everything they're throwing is with mean intentions. <laughs> the Romanian there hesitating because he knows under these rules, you can't hold that leg for too long. If you're going to grab it and throw something, it's got to be instantaneous. So Petier always in fantastic cardio shape. He can keep going at this pace for three rounds. Nice high kick there. Now, Vlad Triff, eight years the junior of Samo Petje. And I've been following, and I, in fact, I refereed Samo probably 10 years ago uh, when he was a youngster. Both got about the same reach, 176 and 178. And now Petje, he landed a nice straight left there and then a knee. And the Romanians getting marked up. Now, one thing I would say is when Petier throws a kick, he does drop his hands, which is common, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if your head's up in the air, you're vulnerable to a counter. Yeah, for sure. There. Oh, there, there he got him. That was that oh. left hook, and it landed on the chin. He took it well. Oui. Good hacked kick. Nice combinations there from Petier. And every time the knee to the body, you see it's really tire style, huh? Yeah, he is a, he is a, uh, he's a Muay Thai yeah. champion. Yeah. But you recognize this. And in fact, he's very square on with his hips. So like you say, he's uh, got a sort of a more of a Muay Thai stance as well. Oi, a hard left one. The Romanian there, you, you've got to give it to him. He's tired at the end of that round. He took some punishment, but he's still he's very still much in the fight. Big, yeah. He still wants to fight. He's come to fight and actually fight on a platform as big as Senshi, um, we don't accept anything less. And uh, one thing I will say, if the fighters are listening, if you win a boring fight, you may not get asked back to no, fight no, again. No, yeah, if yeah. you lose a fight and you fight like an animal, the yeah, chances sure. are you're going to get asked back. Yeah, for sure. In every fight, it needs, needs, uh, needs, it don't needs, but it's good to see a good loser. Who really want to fight and and it just shows some, you records. Sometimes it's easy, it, it, uh, more important than the than the clearly winner mm. when he has no no good style and no. And you can't always tell by a fighter's yeah. records. No, but they say yeah. records are for DJs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially in Muay Thai when they're like 500 fights or whatever. Yeah, for you, sure. Yeah, in Thailand they fought, they fight, fight every week and. So back to the action, Samo Peche. From Slovenia in the red corner, fighting Vlad Triff, 24 years of age, from Romania. And there's a nice high kick there from Petier. Oui. Now, Petier is a class act, but I will say that he's very stiff with his upper body. He's not bouncing, he's not on his toes. But the results speak for themselves. Yeah. 
Little switch there. And he landed that knee. Now he's complaining there about a clinch. Yeah. But you can hold and land oh. one knee to one yeah, knee. Yeah, it's allowed. You see it's... And actually it's confusing. Glory changed their rules to that like five second clinch. Yeah. Where you can keep working. But I, I think that's, um, it's a bit weird for me. You see the marks on his leg already from the low kicks? Well, he's got marks on his legs, on, on the, uh, even on his on his lats yeah, and on, on his on shoulders. The, yeah. Well, his left leg is already uh, red and a little bit bruised. And he finishes Again, with a yeah. low kick, yep. Oh, he broke his nose. Oh. It's over. It's over, he broke his nose. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah. His corner are telling him to carry on, but yeah. he's not going to carry on. The fight's over, no. the towel's coming in. Knockout! And he's, he not, he's probably nose, not yeah. showing as much pain as that is probably giving him. And you can see his nose has shifted across his yeah, face a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But as fighters, a little bit of body, mo body modification like that, it's not a bad thing, is it? No. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by way of knockout Sabo. from the also a cut on his nose on the Sable. side of his nose. Hey, hey. Cut, I think. Yeah. Well, you know what they say: the girls like a scar. Or yeah. Two. They say, but <laughs> not nowadays with these pretty boys running around. <laughs> who, kno who knows? But there we have it Samo Peche from Slovenia now they only like likes on the uh, social media <laughs> yeah that's more important yeah. than, than whatever yeah whatever yeah. happens on Instagram is the most important thing in the world but let's not let's not open a can of worms there so KO for Samo, Samo Peche and he was super confident before this fight yeah very relaxed um, in fact he was in the gym Training this morning with it with some weights. I saw him. Um, but fair play to the Romanian yeah. Vlad Triff, who made his debut here tonight. He's going to go and get that nose reset. Um, I'm just wondering how these guys get on a plane with these trophies. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that can't go as hand luggage, can it? Samo Peche's corner man there with a big smile on his face. Yeah, he cleared the job. And it's teamwork at this level. You know, the preparation, yeah. your corner man. Yeah, everything it, has to be right. It's almost like a family thing, isn't it? You know, um, for want of a different much. word, you, you have to get pretty intimate with with, uh, with fighters and get to know them really, really well.